Hi, welcome to this second part of a two-part video entitled Music and Emotion. In the first part, I talked about that subject in general, talked about one or two other pieces of music. And in this part, I want to just home in on my symphony and say something about the emotion in that. So can I give you some sort of programmatic information that's behind my symphony? No. So my music is not tied to some story, some event, some person, uh, anything of that type. But can I give you some ideas about the emotion that's behind the music? Yes, I can, to a certain extent. Let me give you two examples. In the first movement, after the short introduction, there's a you know, main sort of allegro section. And at the moment, I have marked that as being played quasi violento, almost violently. Now, as I wrote that, I was aware that that's a bit of an unusual marking to make. I'm not sure if in the final analysis it will stay there. But anyway, it, it was a thought I had. So behind that, there is some quite angry emotion. I think it sounds angry, and that is definitely there. Second example, in the final movement, the finale, there is a section towards the end which feels to me quite sad. Almost despairing. Not despairing in the sense of oh, railing against the gods, why, why, why? More despairing in the sense of deep sadness and runner. A run out of energy feeling. Now, I can identify those two and I think they're fairly clear in the music. Music to me is communication. The model of music that I follow is one where a composer composes. That's where I am. Second stage is somebody performs, somebody recreates the dots which are on the page into real sound and the third part is that people listen to that real sound and respond to that so music is a communication between me and whoever might hear this music and that's I think a very important uh, three-step process to keep in mind that whatever emotions like I've just described a couple that are behind my music there's also the question of the reception of those emotions by the people that hear them. We are all individuals. We all have our different psychological makeup. OK, that is within a certain society at a certain time, etc., etc. But still, different people will respond in different ways to different music, different musics, probably within certain parameters, given that it is within a certain context. But still, we will respond in different ways. That is all to say, yes, my music has emotion in it. If you come and hear the concert, as I hope you will, on December the 9th in London, you will hear music that has got emotion very clearly within it. And what I would love to know after that event is, how did that feel? How did you respond to that? If you can do that, I would be most grateful. Thank you.